Good afternoon and welcome back to the 2022 PGA Championship. We are joined by Sean Norris, who put forth a third round 74 today, four over par. Uh, Sean, looking at your uh, scorecard, a little bit up and down, those are some tough conditions out there. Maybe talk about how you played within those conditions out there this morning. That was definitely not easy at all. I mean, the wind wasn't uh, anything it's been since the start of the week, complete different course. Um, and then with it being a bit colder and things like that also changed um, everything, trying to sort out clubs, getting distances was a lot harder than the first couple of days. You seem to embrace the weather though, short sleeves, <laughs> and you were telling us it was uh, right up your alley, huh? No, I quite like this weather. Um, I tend to get hot quickly. So, but uh, overall, you know, like I said, the weather was completely indifferent to the first couple of days. So, um, made it a lot harder for us today. We've had all four seasons, haven't we? All right, let's uh, go live here inside the room. Um, number four, please. Sean, you talk about embracing the weather. How do you embrace a round like today when you find out last night who you're going to be playing with and, and having to square that with just going out and having the round you did? You know, I was fortunate enough to actually play with Tiger before and played with him at the British Open at Carnoustie. So, um, it was a lot easier this time to handle it and it got to see all the crowds again and everything like that. So, but it's, it's not easy. I mean, there's so many people out there, but they're all rooting for Tiger for me. And, it was, and it's such a pleasure to actually be able to go through that and experience that type of round. I think on the, it was the sixth tee, you guys were just, you had some time to wait there. What, what were you uh, chatting about? Uh, our kids. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, how Charlie's doing, what he's been up to, and becoming a teenager. I said to him, my son's only three and a half years old, so I'll experience, experience the same thing in a couple of years' time. Straight across. Let's uh, start with Ryan and then Dan. He, he's not playing well. He's, he's obviously hurting. What's it, what, what do you feel when you watch Tiger Woods play golf for 18 holes? You know, he, he's such a phenomenal player, and you, can, you feel so sorry for him having to go through this. But then again, you also see the type of person he is, that he grinds through everything and he pushes himself even through all the pain in that. Uh, it's not easy to see a guy like him have to go through that and struggle like that. But, you know, he's swinging it nicely, and I think he'll be back uh, once he's... Uh, gets back to normal health and sorts out all the problems. Dan on two. You guys seem to be you know, getting along really well out there. So it, it seems like he is able to compartmentalize how much pain he's in with how he acts toward you and your caddy. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, coming from South Africa, we, we're pretty rough. We run around like idiots and always get injured. So... Um, been through my own injuries as well and things like that and you know you, you can relate to it uh, and you know what kind of pain he's going through but to show the amount of guts he's got to actually push through it and uh, even make the cut this week is phenomenal let's go to bob on six is there a shot or two today that he hit that actually kind of surprised you maybe even how good it was given what he was going through. I mean, it, you know, at the end, he did make a birdie and managed to make those pars to break 80. Uh, I mean, any, anything that stood out? I mean, uh, his putting is, he's always been an unbelievable putter. But there's a few times where he ate some irons and I thought, yeah, no, it's, <laughs> he's, he's there. It's there. I mean, it's definitely there. I think it's just the fatigue and the pain at the end of the round that get, catches up to him at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I, I just caught you something you say, the South Africans run around and call each other a lot. So I wonder if that's something that is global or is more like a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, <laughs> uh, I think the way we were raised in South Africa is a little bit different. I mean, it's playing rugby and things like that. We're a little bit rougher as boys. Um, we, uh, we tend to push the boundaries and things like that. But um, I eventually decided uh, against rugby... Um, I realized I was too small. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I started playing golf and kept on with that. Thanks. Uh, we're going to four here. Rory was in here yesterday and saying, you know, he can appreciate just watching Tiger fight. 
what did you see today in that, and is it something you can really hit home with? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the, de the determination that the guy has, I mean, is phenomenal. You could see he was battling just to take the ball out of the hole from time to time, and even bend down just to put the ball on the tee. But pushing through it and uh, foc getting all the focus on the right times and the, in the shots and everything is just phenomenal. From what Tiger had to say yesterday, that he's only going to play the big tournaments, he's only going to play so many. Can you appreciate the fact that there's only so many of these rounds left and you got to play one with him today? No, you know, like I said, uh, to be able to have played in my lifetime in two majors with him, I, I can't be more pleased and happy about it. Um, it's a guy that I've always looked up to. Um, he's been an idol. So for me, it was a great pleasure to actually experience that. Did you sleep any differently last night? No one nah, with today? No, no, no. Normal. <laughs> um, like I said, I've luckily had the experience of playing with him before. That night, I did struggle to sleep back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap it up here on six. Last question. I'm just curious what you took out of that day with Tiger at Carnoustie. Uh, and, uh, you know, different circumstances, obviously. He got himself into contention that day. Um, were, were you sort of in awe at all, or did you, did you come away learning something? No, I definitely learned a lot, hell of a lot that day. Um, I was fortunate enough. I played well, and he played very well. Um, but to show that he's also human, I mean, but I learned a hell of a lot from him to take into my own game. And I, I think since then I've grown a lot as well. In what ways? Just the way uh, to approach golf courses and how to handle yourself and uh, know that you don't have to be perfect. I mean, at the end of the day, you're putting a score down. It doesn't matter how. But if you can put a good score down, it shows that you've grinded and pushed yourself into contention things. Sean, thank you so much for finding some time for us. Please have a terrific afternoon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Be good. Thank you.